All right, there's capture target. Let's get him. He's invisible. Oh boy, where did he go? Uh, wait, did I just see him? For s Is that really him? He's just standing still. All right, you have surrendered to the Rhino Prime. Surrender. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. Makes a lot, makes my job a lot easier. Uh, let's go to extraction now. Can you feel so good? Hey guys, Play 3 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my Iron Skin build for my Rhino Prime. Now, for Rhino, what you would have to do is you would have to basically put another dash polarity here to pit, fit Prime Flow, although you can use the regular Flow and it'll also fit and work, so you don't have to put a Forma there. Um, what I would do first is put Steel Charge in the Aura slot because that fits and gives us a lot of um, capacity. We have Armored Agility and Steel Fiber to increase our armor, which will increase the armor on our iron skin. Armored Agility will also um, give us a little boost to sprint speed which would be really good for the regular Rhino. Um, Rhino Prime it will just increase his sprint speed a little bit more because since he, Rhino Prime already has a sprint speed of 1. Um, we have Transient Fortitude here for more power strength. Now this build's not going to have duration with fleeting expertise and, powers and um, Transient Fortitude. So if you want a little bit more um, power duration um, switch out Transient Fortitude for Intensify, although you'll um, get a decrease in power strength. This is mostly for um, Iron Skin, and not really for his 3rd and 4th ability, which use a lot of um, duration. So, switch this out with Intensify, and you'll have a decent amount of duration. We have Iron Shrapnel here, which is an Iron Skin Augment. Recasting Iron Skin will detonate it, and it will cause an, um, puncture damage and knock down enemies around you. Now this is good because if you have two health left on your iron skin, you can um, detonate it and then you can recast it again so you don't have to like have two health and then go into a full fight and risk dying. Also you have fleeting expertise and streamline for more power efficiency. Again we're not going to be worrying about power duration. We have blind rage for even more power strength and fleeting expertise and streamline will counteract with um, blind rage's um, power efficiency so that's not going to be much of a problem i didn't use a half ranked um, blind rage because i didn't want that much power efficiency loss we also have prime flow here for more power now this build is a very good build for iron skin because with rhino prime which has 275 armor this gives him a lot of iron skin he has about almost 6000 ferrite armor with this build and with Rhino, you're going to see a decreased amount because of um, the decrease in armor from Rhino and Rhino Prime. Rhino Prime has 275 armor. Rhino has 200, um, 190. So the iron skin is going to be a little bit less. Um, you can also increase the um, iron skin strength by um, equipping a power drift here. If you want to form a maybe um, transient fortitude, if you don't mind like losing this polarity, or maybe something like. Um, Fleeting expertise or streamline, just forma like one on um, one of those forma, and you should be able to fit in a power drift here for even more power strength. That's probably what I'm going to be working on next for Rhino Prime. But yeah, that's my Iron Skin build for Rhino Prime. All right, so I'm using this build on the capture mission on Lua, and it's a very tanky build. You can bring this into sorties. You don't have to just bring this Lua. Um, level 100 enemies. Um, you you can tank level 100 enemies in Sorties, um, Sorties 3, the last Sorties a mission in the Sorties uh, a lineup. You can you can tank that mission fine with this build. Um, what you saw there earlier was um, Piercing Caliber, so just detonating the Iron Skin will basically knock everybody down, and it'll also give you new Iron Skin, so if you have low health on your Iron Skin, you can just detonate it and just get rid of it. Now, this is just a, a really good build overall. You don't have to worry about anything, no knockbacks. Um, no drags or anything, but you do, you do have to worry about one thing, which is nullifiers, which will ruin any Rhino's day since it um, destroys your iron skin. So just make sure you got you take out um, those nullifiers and you make sure you don't get hit by them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed this vid. Hope you guys enjoyed the build. It's a pretty good build. I use it all the time, my Rhino. And yeah, they're all dead. Rhino stop. La 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 la. Okay, see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Play 3 signing out. Thanks for watching, guys.